Welcome back to my channel. My name's Marisa and I am here on YouTube to talk all things curly hair. Thank you for being here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from me. Today's video is a super quick, simple, budget-friendly one brand wash day. Whew, managed to say that all in one breath. I'm going to be using an entirely naughty hair care wash day today. So we've got the To The Rescue shampoo and conditioner, which um, feature quite heavily on my social media because they are my favourites. All of these were included in my 2020 favourite products video, which I posted last week. If you haven't checked that out, then go watch that afterwards if you like. Got the Hello Curls Primer Spray and the Hey Curl Scrunching Jelly. And that, folks, is all I'm going to use on my hair today. Well, all I have already used because this is after. Um, if you want to see how I got these results, then keep watching. So I am just out of the shower. My hair has been shampooed and conditioned using the Naughty to the Rescue shampoo and conditioner. And I just absolutely love them, especially the conditioner. This is my holy grail conditioner. I use it probably 99.9% .9 of my wash days. This is the conditioner I go for. I absolutely love it. I'm going to pop here a little video showing how I condition my hair. I do the squish to condition method and basically it involves conditioning, raking the conditioner through and then squishing that conditioner in with lots of water, lots of handfuls of water um, and you can see the clumps start to form. So that is what I did today. Now I don't often plot my hair but because I was filming today, I was filming my styling routine and I needed to get dressed, um, I used my little Madistra Sews Turby towel which I absolutely love. It's made of Modal fabric it's super pretty as well. I will put a link in the description for you. Oh, look at these shiny clumps today. After I've conditioned, I use my Curl Keeper Flexi brush to brush through and that is what creates these clumps. So now I'm just going to shake my hair out to let it fall down my back so that it doesn't get all kind of tangled here and stuck. And this is the step that I cannot miss. If I don't do this, then my hair will look all matted and half of my hair will get caught up underneath the rest. So there we go, the hair has now fallen down and is sitting nicely. The primer is very, very lightweight. It's a lightweight spray and it has a little bit of protein. The scrunching jelly also extremely lightweight. It feels weightless in my hair no protein in this. So I'm just going to use my already wet t-shirt turban and just gently scrunch up my hair just to remove a little bit more excess water. I still want my hair to be wet. I don't call it damp styling because damp to me says part way dry but my hair is still I would say very wet but it's not dripping wet so it's just finding the right balance for you. For you Damp styling might be the best way, dripping wet styling might be the best way. For me, it's sort of somewhere in between. Okay, so the Hello Curls Primer Spray. So I'm just going to use this. I use this, I tend to use this in place of a leave-in conditioner. I don't tend to use a leave-in when I'm gonna use this primer. And like I say, it's very lightweight, so you can be fairly generous with it. just going to scrunch it in. It feels like you've really added nothing to your hair to be honest. It doesn't feel like you've added much of a product at all. It's very lightweight. I'm not personally overly keen on the smell of this Hello Curl spray. It has the same smell as the Wave Hello shampoo and conditioner and it's not my favourite but when I use this and I use it in conjunction with the scrunching jelly which does smell nice to me um, I don't find that this smell really lingers in my hair. Smells are so subjective aren't they so somebody might prefer the smell of this and not the scrunching jelly. Now I'm going to go in with the Hey Curl scrunching jelly and that's the consistency. Now I think I am going to glaze this product over today. Glaze it and then scrunch. I've got quite nice curls forming already so I don't really want to go and use praying hands on them um, and flatten them. So I'm just going to glaze 
just kind of smoothing the product over before I scrunch in. And I'm going to start scrunching. If your hair is very prone to frizz, then I recommend that if you're doing a lot of scrunching, to just go gently and kind of slowly be careful. Um, thankfully, my hair is not naturally too frizzy now that it's at the stage it's at in my healthy curl journey. It used to be. Um, so I can scrunch with some vigour and it doesn't doesn't really affect my results adversely but if you do find that scrunching gives you frizz then try just cupping and squeezing nice and slow and gentle and so I just like to flip my head from side to side I call this flip styling just for the sake of giving it a name to refer people to and I do find that flipping back and forward side to side front to back does help with a little bit of volume in the roots and volume throughout the hair as well. This is so, so, so lightweight. It almost just feels like water in my hair. It doesn't feel like, you know, sometimes if you add um, quite a thick product, a thick gel, you can feel it. it's quite um, wet and squishy in the hair, for want of a better word. But this stuff just sort of disappears into my hair, which uh, leaves me with really, really lightweight results, which I love very very kind of voluminous and it feels product free when I use this. If my hair looks good but feels a bit producty it doesn't bother me too much um, as long as it looks good and doesn't look like weighed down and producty but it is lovely when you can touch your hair and it just feels light and full and natural and soft and that is what this combination uh, does for my hair. always finish by just using my hand gently to lift the hair away from the scalp all the way around my head. You can also do this with a wide tooth comb or a pick if you prefer. If you find that doing this with your hand gives you frizz then that's what I recommend. It's looking good. You don't have wet frizz which is great. So I am going to diffuse my hair now. I'm going to do my double diffusing which I actually do every single wash day now since the first time I tried it because it dries my hair so fast. I do not recommend going and buying a second diffuser. Um, I mean you can if you want but I'm not saying that you should run out and buy a second diffuser if you don't already have two but if you happen to have two uh, then it's brilliant because it really does speed up your drying time which is a plus for me because I'm a mum of three the kids are all at home because of um, COVID, homeschooling. So if I can get my wash day done as fast as possible, then I am happy. I start off um, with my Dyson. Now I actually use full power on my Dyson. And because of the way the Dyson is, it doesn't really blow my hair around too much. And obviously it dries my hair faster. So I use full power and I start off with two dots of heat, which I would say is kind of medium, the higher end of medium. And then I drop it down to one dot of heat, which is low medium heat. For some people that would be too hot, but I don't find it's a problem for my hair, but you would have to see how her, your hair responded. And for the diff on, I start on the level two and then later drop it down to level one. Um, and that little bit of slightly higher heat to start with will help your curls to shrink up, speed up the drying time, then you can drop the heat and finish drying, um, which is gonna reduce frizz. My hair is actually almost dry. That was really, really quick. I think I've only been diffusing off camera for about 10 minutes. Um, my hair is probably 80% dry perhaps. And at this point, what I actually like to do is, um, oops, all the rules say don't scrunch out the crunch until your hair is 100% dry. Well, call me a rule breaker <laughs> because when my hair is about 80 to 90% dry, I give it a very gentle and light scrunch. What that does is it starts to break the cast, 
which means that uh, those kind of clumps of hair that are still wet inside, that the cast has been broken a bit and now you can more quickly dry the rest of your hair. Again, like I said earlier, if your hair is super prone to frizz or is very damaged or you're still transitioning to healthy hair, then I wouldn't recommend doing this. I mean, try it by all means, but you might find that it does cause a lot of excess frizz. But if you have been doing this a while and your hair is fairly healthy, you might be really surprised what happens. It not only speeds up the drying time, but it also I find just gives more volume. Looking extremely promising right now, isn't it? So I'm just going to finish diffusing now. Hi, I'm back. So I've completely dried my hair. I've given it a scrunch and a fluff and whoa, look at that shine. It's insane. Super, super happy. These products just never, ever let me down. So, so, so pleased with this wash day. It was also really, really fast. Um, I think diffusing in total took me maybe 15 minutes max. Um, and yeah, they're just, my hair just feels great. It's just so, so, so bouncy and clumpy and shiny. I don't know how that shine is coming across on camera, but in person, it's blinding. So that is how I do my all naughty simple fast and budget friendly wash day have you tried any of these products if you have let me know which are your favorites um or if you want to try them i have a discount code and i will put the links in the description for everything i used i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please give it a little thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss videos from me in the future hope you're having a great day bye for now